Okay, so continuing to work on the plumbing drawing in the parking lot. And what I'm going to do is create uh, an invert. So this uh, pipe invert. So um, what Revit does, it shows um, a lower end invert elevation. Okay, it's at a negative two feet at the start and as it slopes down. And at this point, um, it is the lower end invert elevation is almost at four feet. So it's a, it's a difference of two feet. So <clears throat> what Revit comes with is these spot uh, Tools. There's a spot elevation and coordinate, and there is a spot slope, but there is no um, uh, invert elevation tag. So in order to get an invert elevation tag, I'm going to tag this pipe. Um, this is a four inch. This is a pipe tag. So I'm going to use this to create my invert elevation tag. So I clicked on it and I'm going to edit that family, save it as an invert elevation tag. Let's go file, save as family. And I'm going to, I guess smart text is okay. So I'm going to call this an invert, um, invert elevation invert elevation tag and also I'm going to put in the the Revit uh, uh, version that I'm using so I'll save that and click on my my label and edit it and edit it in my uh, dialog box my edit label dialog box and in here is the lower end invert elevation. So I'll click on that, add it to my to my box uh, parameters. But I'm going to get rid of one of the the size which are, we were using to create. And in here, I'm going to label this EL equals no. It should be IL, right? Invert. Um, it should be I E equals. Okay, now we got it. So I'm gonna say okay to that, and just kind of move this out a little bit. Um, but I don't know if this is gonna matter because I'm gonna have to change this anyway. So I have that. Everything is everything is is good. So I've used the pipe tag to create an invert elevation tag and saved it as 2024 invert elevation tag. Let's load it into the project. Do we want to save? Yes, I do. Okay, so now we have it. This is my invert elevation. So we have the invert elevation at this point is a negative two and usually the invert and I can also put it uh, I'm going to change all of this I can also put an error on here it really doesn't matter because because what happens is in order for this to look like an invert elevation the minus sign should not be there and it's usually um, at two decimal places so I can create, um, let's go to the section because I want to just point out something. My section is at a negative, the parking is a negative uh, 16 and 11 feet from as, as the datum or wherever the, the zero is, is down a negative 16, 11. So let's go back and what I can do is and if, if I manage my units, 
the length, I can manage the length to read in feet with two decimal places and the symbol unit is gonna be foot, just a little dash. And I'm gonna say okay to this and say okay to that. Now, this is how an elevation on a drawing usually looks, but only it is, this is how it's supposed to look. Uh, let's say text here. I'm gonna come with the arrow here, here and do the same, i.e. is equal to, and it should read like 2.00 feet, okay? Now, this is the smart text, but what happens with the smart text, because I changed the units, where is it, manage, because I changed the units here, right, all of this, and this is per project, these are the project units. So, okay, so these are project unit units. I'm gonna cancel this, cancel this, and go to my section. And if I want to print my section, you see it's different. It causes havoc <laughs> when I look at my section views, okay? Because this is a project, so these are the project units, and if I change one thing on my project units is going to change everything throughout the entire project. So some of your text cannot be, um, let's, I'm going to change this back to um, fractional feet and to the nearest eighth. Let's go back. Let's, I'm going to say okay to this. Let's look at the section. And okay, so it's back to how it was before. So let's go back and you see it changes, but, but what, what it gives me, it gives me an idea of um, where my invert is. Because if I look at my invert on the right side in, the, in my uh, palette, the lower end elevation is at two feet 45 over 128, and 45 over 128 is 0.35 and 3 eighths is 0.37. So that's close enough for me because actually it's measuring the, um, the inside diameter. The invert measures the inside diameter of a pipe. So if we go to the section, the section, let's do it here, okay? So if I look at the section, um, what, what Revit, what the invert is, if I, if I look at a pipe, right, and I look at another here, okay, so if this is a four inch pipe, the invert is going to be, the invert is going to be measured here at this lower end, okay, so, um, I'm not too concerned about the fraction of an inch that it's off. So if we look at the, and let's say a four inch pipe, the invert, if we go to the sizes, the, in, the inside and outside diameter, this is the inside diameter, you see, the outside diameter. So however Revit is measuring it. And it looks close enough for me. I'm not gonna go, go out of my way to, to figure out whether it's nine sixteenths off, you know. This is good enough for me. So I'll leave the smart text. So, so creating this invert elevation tag gives me an idea of what the invert is at this location. So I'll use that same logic and I'll go down and look and see where it is. Let's use similar, create similar. create similar and at this point it is you know I'm gonna use this elevation tag from here here free in and so roughly IE is equal to four feet 
right? So I'll come. You're, you're not going to be. You're not going to be doing this throughout the entire project. So this is very little effort to come in and just and say annotate. Or where is my text? Text here. Come here and just kind of do I E. I E is equal to 4.00 feet, and we're done. Okay, so I can erase this and say, okay, that's my invert elevation. And my section looks good. Okay, let's go back. Okay, the section looks good and my plan looks good, but it's not a smart text. Okay, I would like for it to be a smart text, but it's not going to happen because when I change my units, it is a project unit base. And if I change the units so that this looks halfway decent, um, then it's going to change the other types of projects and how the unit looks, how the number units looks. Okay. So um, I just want I wanted to go over an invert elevation and how it has to be a uh, you call it dumb text. <laughs> There's smart text and dumb text. So that's the invert elevation. And I'm going to stop here, guys. I hope that helped. And I will talk to you guys later.